hello friends welcome to this new video so in this video we are going to learn one trick okay or one visual so the name of the visual is heat map so basically it is very important visual while creating any report in power bi so first i will tell you what is heat map so the visual which is on your screen is called as heat map so i'll just explain the heat map first and then we will discuss how to create this kind of visual so basically a heat map is a popular visual representation in power bi that allow us to quickly identify patterns and trends in their data okay it uses color coded cell to display the data in a matrix form okay in which each cell representing a particular data point so basically this is a matrix okay and each and every color is representing a data point the color of the cell is determined by the value of that particular data point okay for example with the higher values we will use the warmer warmer colors such as red and the cells which are having lower values we will use cooler colors for example blue which we have used here okay basically heat maps are particularly useful for visualizing large data set whenever the data set is very huge at that particular point of time we will use heat map for very complex data relationship as they allow the user to quickly spot the trends and outliners okay the heat maps can be used to visualize a wide range of data including sales data website traffic customer behavior or many more okay so whenever we want to color code the data we use the heat map okay now in power bi while creating a heat map or the creation of heat map is relatively very straightforward simply we have to add the data to the visualization pane we have to select the heat map option from the visualization menu and we have to customize the appearance and setting as needed we as a user can choose the data field which we want to display in the heat map we can choose the color scheme and we can adjust the cell size and we can do many more things in this particular heat map so we will discuss how to create this kind of heat map from very basic from very scratch okay overall the heat map are very powerful tool for data representation and for data analysis and visualization in power bi heat map allows user to gain deeper insight into their data and heat map make more informed decision okay so here for example on your screen there is a heat map okay so basically this heat map uh, on the left hand side of the screen there is a weekday column from sunday to friday we have okay friday then sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday okay and on columns we have different columns for time 10 am 10 11 am then 12 pm till 11 pm okay and basically this number present in the sales it represent the total orders okay so now we will learn how to create this kind of heat map okay so basically we will delete this and we will create the heat map from scratch so while creating the heat map the first thing is you have to select the matrix visual from the visualization pane okay we will select matrix visual just increase the size of this visual now see the visualization pane okay when we select this matrix visual it is asking for three input first one is the row second one is the column and third one is the value okay so basically what we can do we can go in order detail okay we can go in this orders okay so what we will do for row we will take weekdays okay in the row we can show the weekdays see now weekdays will appear in the rows okay now in columns we want time okay so i'll drag custom time to column so we will be having different column from 10 a.m to 11 p.m okay in the duration of one one hour each now the third thing 
which this particular matrix visual is asking is for values okay so as we are creating heat map for total order we will track total order in values okay so we have this particular thing here now we will just resize this now what is the next thing now we have to represent this particular cell values okay in the form of color code so what we will do we will click on this particular arrow okay now here is the option of conditional formatting we will select this particular option now there are four to five option background color front color data bars icons web url so we will use background color okay now always remember whenever you are creating a heat map for highest value use dark color probably red okay and for the lowest value use light color probably you can use blue or you can use yellow as well depending on you for this time we will use yellow okay so this color will represent the lowest value and this particular color which is dark red will represent the highest value okay and where on which particular field we are applying this rule we are applying based on total orders okay so we will just click on ok now our heat map will get created okay and this is looking very fine okay now we can do more formatting so basically this particular dark color this 472 is the highest one okay so it is the darkest then 458 and then based on the values we have color code now the lowest one is one okay or blank we can say so approximately same color is there okay now we will go to this format option and basically we will see what different formatting styles we have in this particular heat map okay so for grid okay no need to format actually okay so this will be our final heat map okay so i i think you have got the concept of heat map where it can be used okay it is very simple basically what we are doing we are applying conditional formatting based on the cells value okay that is the most important thing and two things you have to remember for the highest value you have to use dark color or warmer color and for the lowest value you have to use lighter color or cooler color okay so thank you for watching this video if you have any doubt you can comment below in the comment box Thank you for joining.